this video on our Citizen L20 Work Center 302, I am going to go over another mode. Uh, that mode is MDI. So MDI stands for Manual Data Input. Just as it says, we are manually inputting data uh, to run either a, well, it would be a single line of code, uh, depending on what that line all contains, is gonna be up to you. Uh, on this machine, in order to uh, run a line of code, you have to, it, it will save all your data from the previous uh, information on whatever was entered in, but you have to hit input in order for it to run. So down here in this little box, you can see that it says editing. So that means that the control is not going to run because it thinks that you are still inputting data in. Until you hit input, once you hit input, and then I'll say set complete or set uh, COMP, uh, then it will run the line of code. Some also nice features on here is that you can run, uh, you can type in a whole block of code or just a single line. Uh, you can run it uh, where it run continuously through that line or that block of code, or you can technically single block through or one block through. And also another nice feature is that you can uh, run uh, $1, which would be your main spindle. $2, right here, down here on the dollar select, it'll let you go over to $2. So, uh, a lot of times what you can use that for is actually kind of keeping information in uh, on this machine, because like I said, it's gonna save the information uh, that was previously inputted in. So that's kind of a nice feature to just kind of, if you have a couple general ones you use quite a bit of, it's kind of nice to go back and forth on. Uh, as you can see up here, we have just a, a spindle on uh, here to 100 RPM in the dollar two. And then if you go back to dollar one, uh, M430, which is your uh, adaptive guide bushing glide on, which is another common one we use. So it kind of can save you from typing in every time uh, information that you want to put in but again when you're cycling back and forth between the dollar select you still have to hit input so I'm gonna hit input now now it would run it because it says set complete but the instant I switch to the other uh, sub spindle or other dollar um, it's gonna go back into editing and then I would have to hit input again to be able to run that